So like with last year, I figured this year I would do a behind the scenes walkthrough of my display. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the front gates and how all of this is set up. You can watch last year's video where I go through it. <clears throat> this year, it didn't really change. The one thing that did change was last year I had data wires, as you can see from last year's video, running from the control F16 controller up here at the front gates all the way to a box over here. This year though, I changed that and instead of running data this far because I had issues, I have a receiver board sitting in the box here that's coming off the last four ports on the F16. I'm actually only using two of the outputs though. One output is running this front gate, which is the wreaths, the stars, the outline, all of it's on one output. And then I have another output for the gate itself. So if we walk over here, a couple of the other changes from last year. And I will say, as I walk over here, one of my goals for this year in my display was I wanted to get as rid of as many wires as I possibly could. Um, so I did quite a few changes up on the roof, and I'll go up there in a minute. And so I have my new Tune, tune 2 sign, I should say. Last year I complained about the one I had. So it's the new P10 panels. And then if you look at last year's video, um, this is pretty much the same, except what you'll notice I don't have nearly as many wires running up to the roof as I did last year. Um, I have my F16 over here. I'm only using 16 ports on it. Um, and then over here is my mega tree. Um, which in here, you can see here in the power of the box, is simply an F16, four power distro boards, and then the power supplies. Works really well. I wasn't actually going to put an F16 in here, but I had extras, and I said, eh, why not? Give the mega tree its own power supply. I am using Walter Monkhouse's portal hole and his ASAP Senior um, with guy wires on the back. I will say we've had 80 mile an hour winds here in Southern California and this tree has not moved at all. I, I, it's, it's, uh, the star did but I went up there and I fixed it. It wasn't really a big deal. A couple other things about the tree. Um, my base is a three quarter inch steel tube that I had bent to eight foot four inches. I do have turnbuckles on each one of the strips that allows me to adjust them and keep them straight. Like this one's not straight, straighten that out. Um, and that way they're not, as I call it, kung fu fighting everywhere. Um, very happy with it. It's been stable. I had to adjust it a few times um, with the uh, the strip stretching, but overall, very, very happy. It's solid. A um, couple other things. The rebar, these are four foot pieces of rebar that I have in the ground all the way around to make sure this thing doesn't move. And then, like I said, it hasn't. Um, those turnbuckles were the victim of the sledgehammer, unfortunately, but they had the same thing over here. Um, the other thing I added this year were 20 watt floodlights. These are the 24 volt floodlights from Rob G. I like them a lot, they work well. Um, kind of hard to see up against the brick, but that's okay, they do their job. Um, anything else that I should mention? Oh, I will. the other thing is, you know, talking about the P10 panels, um, you'll notice mine doesn't have a back. Uh, I didn't think I needed one. Hopefully I don't, because it's underneath the overhang and it's very well protected. Um, we'll see. Um, and the last thing on the ground before I go up on the roof and start talking about everything is over here on the side. I have another mess of wires, but this is the, uh, there's a receiver board in there, two power supplies, uh, the Crockett family of light <coughs> dual power supply power distro board. Um, and you'll notice I only have six wires going up. This is actually running my matrix. That's what this is designed for which is 1736 pixels. And when I get up on the roof, I'll kind of walk through all of that. So let's go up on the roof. Up we go. All right. Um, Cause this is where a lot of the changes from last year happened. So I'm gonna start with the roof outline. So it's 454 pixels. It's actually all on one output last year. Each one of these runs had their own data and power line running to it. This year I decided I didn't want to do that, so they're all now interconnected. 
Um, same thing with the arches and stars. All three of these are again off of one port and then I power inject between them. Uh, and you'll notice that I use what are called Delphi connectors for power injection. And this wire is actually 18-4 wire that I double up the power in the ground to send up so I don't have the loss. Works really, really well. Um, injected there, injected over here, and then again, injected at the end. So, um, with the snowflakes, there's 26 of them on my roof. These 10 over here are all interconnected. And then again, I power inject using the same methodology. You can see it right here, the power injection. Got power injection here, power injection there, and then power at the end over there. Um, the matrix. <clears throat> so my methodologies are a little different than some people. So what I have here is this is 18-4 wire coming up and again Delphi connectors for the power. This is my power injection lines and then my data lines I have using the cap 5 um, but I'm sending data and power separately underneath here. I don't know how much it's going to allow me to pull. Let me oh, pull some wires. Kind of walks through here is I have 18-4 wire for power injection um, coming in every, let's see here, all the way across, it's all the way down. And this is 18-4 wire. So this 18-4 wire connects in, you can see here, if I kind of, there's two wires, so that gives me a total of four power injection points off, actually no, eight power injection, no, four, four power injection points off of each line coming in and I have four coming up. So to run my matrix on the roof, which is, again, 1,736 pixels, I only have six wires coming up to the roof, which is much better than last year where I had 28, which was a disaster. Um, I guess that's everything. Um, if I didn't cover something or have more questions, let me know. Um, I'd be happy to answer. Thanks. Have a great day.